Welcome back to the Cougar Sports Network. Here in game two of today's doubleheader. In the field to begin for the Muskies. They have scored no runs at their first time at the plate, which has now brought us to right now with Santos up to bat. And Johnson in the circle for the Muskies. Maddie Johnson, 2.57 ERA, nine wins, one loss. She has pitched 60 innings so far this year with 34 strikeouts and 23 walks. So a great season so far for her as she takes the start in game two here. Muskies took the game one win, six to three over the Cougars. And now Santos is working with a 2-1 count here with no outs in the bottom of the first. She's going to swing at that one into left. Tracking it is Harlow, who's going to reel it in for the first out of the inning. Emily Garcia. Garcia now going up to the plate for the Cougars. One out so far in this inning. She's going to swing at the first one she sees out to right. Nelson tracks it down, though. So a quick two outs here for Johnson and the Muskies. That's going to bring up Melissa Hajik. Now to bat number 13, Melissa Hajik. Ball upstairs to start this at bat. Hajik played first to start in game one. She's now catching for the Cougars in game two. She takes strike two on the inside corner. Couple of different defensive changes. Jess Gang, who caught game one, is now in the DP position. Megan Busca, who we saw as game two's pitcher, is now at first as has Hajik is going to pop that one up over to Oda Crick at second. So a quick inning there. Three up, three down. And we have a scoreless game here as we're moving into the second inning. So we will be right back on the Cougar Sports Network. Welcome back to the Cougar Sports Network. Top of the second here, Ashley Schroller is our pitcher for the Cougars. Haven't gotten a chance to introduce her yet today. 3.12 ERA, one win, six losses on the season out for 12 appearances. 58.1 innings pitched with a 27 strikeout to 13 walk ratio. So some great numbers so far for the junior out of Florida. Got a 2-0 count here to Harlow. Peyton Harlow, her first time up to bat in game two. She swings at that and fouls it back. 2-1 count now. Since the beginning of game one, it has just gotten colder and windier here at River Forest as the day has progressed on. Swing and a miss right there from Schroll. Great pitch. From her, but as I was saying, 
gotten colder and windier here in River Forest. Temperatures are dropping as both teams continue to battle this afternoon. That ball upstairs. And you got a 3-2 count now for Harlow. That one's going to get fouled back again. Three, two count. We're doing it again right here. Harlow fouls another one back. Seven pitches now in this at bat between Harlow and Troll. That one's going to be in there for strike three. Caught her looking. Great pitch there from Troll. And now we've got one out here as Jordan August comes up to bat. Great start in the second inning for Stroll here with the strikeout. Ball just a tad low there for Stroll. August being patient up at the plate. Fouled off, stays in the field. Cougar fans at home, Musky fans alike. Here on the Cougar Sports Network, we do have a car counter for how many hit cars get hit on Division Street. We're down to one this afternoon, so it's been pretty uneventful out on Division Street this afternoon. That one's going to get popped up. Danger zone there, but Garcia tracks the ball all the way back, runs into Kantopoulos, but makes a great catch. Now that's going to bring up Sydney Meyer to the plate. Now it's bat number 16, Sydney Meyer. Great play from Garcia, though, to make sure that ball didn't drop in. First pitch from Schroll is going to be a ball low for a 1-0 count. Ball two, going to be a little bit upstairs. So 2 0 count now for Meyer. She takes the advantage here. That ball is going to be outside. So 3 0 count now to Meyer. We are still scoreless so far in the second inning. Two outs here for the Muskies with Meyer to 3 0 count. That's in there for strike one of the at-bat. That one low and inside. So Meyer's going to get walked, and she's going to go down to first base. And that is now going to bring up Carly Morrow to the plate. Morrow in the ninth spot looking to roll this order back around to the top for the Muskies. As she swings at the first one, she sees the right field. Kentopolis is going to pick it up and throw to third. And we're going to have an outrunner, an outstanding tag from Archuleta. It looks like we're going to have a little bit of an injury problem here after she was tagged out. We're going to take a quick break here as we assess the situation. We'll be right back on the Cougar Sports Network.
Back here on the Cougar Sports Network, wanting to give you an update there from the collision at third base. Meyer has now been taken from the order, and Staudinge has gone to first now, so we're hoping she's all right after that pretty nasty collision at third base. But now Cougars in the bottom of the second looking to strike first. 1-1 one, one count here to Bella Archuleta. Johnson still working in the circle. That off speed just a little too high. 2-1 the count now. She's going to pop this one up into the air right over to Odacrick at second. And that's now going to bring up Jessica Gang. Now to bat number 12, Jessica Gang. Gang up to bat now for the Cougars. One out here at the bottom of the second. It's going to be ball one too far on the outside corner from Johnson. Wind picking up here at Cougar Field as it just continues to get colder here this Saturday afternoon. That's upstairs for ball two. Cougar fans, lots of action going on today. Men's tennis played this morning here in River Forest. Baseball as well is going on right behind us here, right past center field. Men's lacrosse is over just a little bit further away at Cougar Stadium playing their game as well. And our track and field team is at Wisconsin Lutheran College today for the green and white invite. So lots of Cougar action going on. You can get all of that and more at cucougars.com. As Gang is going to swing at that one. Stays in the air for a while. Left fielder is going to travel in for it, but it's actually going to land foul. So 2-2 two -two count now for Gang. Another opportunity for her. Gang ready to go here, 2-2 two -two count. Johnson with the delivery. And Gang is going to line that, but Staudinge, our brand new first baseman, is going to snag it. A great play from her coming off the bench. And we're going to have two outs now. Now to bat number nine, Gina Westfall. Gina Westfall up to bat now. Two outs here. Cougars trying to get something started for themselves. She's going to take strike one on the inside corner. That one's going to get <laughs> fouled back here. Had a little jump here in the press box, but everybody's okay.
We're back on the Cougar Sports Network. Apologies. Had some technical technical difficulties here as first of all, we've got a hit car here on Division Street. But we had a problem with the camera, so went ahead and fixed that. That ball's gonna be up in the air to Johnson, and that's gonna end the inning. So quick on, quick off here, but we'll be right back as we head into the next inning on the Cougar Sports Network.
back here on the Cougar Sports Network. Apologies for the technical difficulties. Having some camera issues here at Cougar Field. With all of the action going on, we got a lot happening and had to go ahead and take care of that. But we are good to go now. We are still scoreless here in the bottom of the third as Goldsby's going to square to bunt. That ball's popped up and nobody gets to it. One and one the count now. Johnson has been steady in the circle so far. She's thrown 25 pitches going into this third inning. Goldsby's going to swing at that one. It's going to foul off, bounce off the netting. Heitman going ahead and taking care of that one. One and two the count now. Johnson now with the advantage. That ball is going to be, it's going to skip about halfway to the plate. Two, two the count now for Goldsby. That ball's going to be high and outside. So we're full count now, 3-2. Cougars looking to score first in this second game of our doubleheader series. She's going to swing at that one. It's going to go over the third baseman's head, but just foul. Great piece from Goldsby, but just narrowly stays foul. Gonna do it again at three and two. Goldsby's gonna pop that one up. Morrow's underneath it and she collects it. So first out of the inning here, and that's gonna bring up Arissa Santos. Now to bat number 15, Arissa Santos. Santos coming up to bat now with one out here in the bottom of the third. She swings at the first one she sees and lines it in the left. That's going to get down for a base hit. So she is on and ready to go. And now Emily Garcia is going to follow her. Now to bat number 22, Emily Garcia. Garcia following her. Middle's counterpart, herself and Santos, made the play up the middle to end the, the top of the third. She also swings at the first one she sees, but looks like Harlow is going to be underneath that one for out number two. And very quickly, two outs here. And Melissa Hajik is now going to come up to bat for the Cougars. Now to bat number 13, Melissa Hajik. Santos still at first for the Cougars. Two outs here with Hajik up to bat. Ball one in the dirt from Johnson. She's going to swing at that one to left, and it's going to get caught. A great play from Harlow in left field. An amazing catch to end the inning. So we are going to keep it rolling here scoreless as we enter the fourth inning. We'll be right back on the Cougar Sports Network.
Back here on the Cougar Sports Network, top of the fourth, still scoreless in River Forest for game two of today's doubleheader. Ashley Schroll still going on the mound for the Cougars, going up against Maddie Rask. She's been playing center all day so far for the Muskies. She's going to swing at that one. Line right over Garcia's head at second. And it's going to drop right in. Great piece of hitting there from her as she finds herself aboard. Looks like head coach of the Muskies, Tammy Utley, is going to come in to bring in a pinch runner. That's going to be number one, Raina Rupnow, to run for Rasky. Did a similar change in game one in a first and third situation. So now we're seeing it here. Now to bat number two, Paige Carlo. Carlo now coming up to bat for the Muskies with no outs here. Runner on first. She's going to square to Bond, drops it down over to Schroll, who makes the play. For the sacrifice bunt, that's going to move Rupp now over to second. But one out here for the Cougars is now Jordan August is going to come up to bat. Now to bat number 15, Jordan August. Rupp now on second now for the Muskies. August is going to take strike one on the outside corner. still working out there for the Cougars here in the fourth inning. She's going to hit that one into right. Kentopolis has a beat on it, but she's going to drop it. And we're going to have some movement. Nothing too crazy, but still enough to get the runners moving. So that's going to bring up Number five, possibly. Looks like we're going to have another pinch runner. It's going to be number six. Number six, Callie Linders is going to be running now for August at first. So we're in a similar situation as to earlier. First and third situation with one out. And now head coach Sarah O'Malley Fisher is going to walk out here have a conversation with her infield. But again, first and third situation, one out. Nobody scored so far in game two of today's doubleheader, so this will definitely be a momentum shifter if the Muskies can get a run across. Muskies going back to their bases now, ready to go. It's going to be number five, Mackenzie Staudinger coming up to the plate. She is the one who replaced Meyer earlier. Now to bat number five, Mackenzie Staudinger. Staudinger, this is her first at bat of this game. She squares to bunt, pulls back. Ball is dropped by Hajik, and Linders is going to move on to second. So now runners on second and third. 1-0 the count. That one's going to be low and inside for ball two. 2-0 now. Staudinger with an opportunity here with two runners in scoring position. Only one out. She's going to swing at that one, foul it back. It is hopping over a car. Another car narrowly missed. Two hit cars on the car counter so far on Division Street. That brings us to a 2-1 count. That one's going to be in the dirt. Hajik keeps it in front. 
three one the count now. Sajing are in a great position for her at bat. She's gonna foul that one back. Stays in the park, but fouled that one back. And now we're full count here. Three two. Three two one all the way across the scoreboard here. As Staudinger is going to come up again to try and scoot the first runs across of this game. That ball is going to get hit up the middle to Santos. She's going to make a diving play. Makes a great grab. But that run is still going to score. So a great play from Santos to keep it in the infield. And now the Muskies are going to lead in this game with one run. Now to bat number four, Carly Morrow. Morrow now out to bat for the Muskies. She takes strike one on the inside corner. Runner still on third for the Muskies now with two outs. They now lead this game one to zero after a Santos dive to keep it in the infield. She's gonna swing defensively most likely 0-2 oh, the count now Schroll taking the the advantage on this one that one in the dirt straight back to Hajik you're now at 1-2 and two in this count getting ready to go after Morrow on this pitch. She does, but it skates through the 5-6 hole, and that's going to be another run for the Muskies. So that one's going to skate by there and bring up the top of the order in Hannah Nelson. Now to bat number 17, Hannah Nelson. Nelson coming up to bat now. Two outs. After Morrow's hit, that's going to put the Muskies ahead to a 2-0 lead here in the top of the fourth. Nelson's going to swing at that one, pop it up to third base. And Archuleta's going to grab it. So that's going to be it for this inning. But that is after some damage is done by the Muskies. So Lakeland's going to lead 2-0 to zero in this game as we cross the halfway point. We'll be right back on the Cougar Sports Network.
Back here on the Cougar Sports Network, Bella Archuleta up to play for the Cougars. 2-1 the count now in the bottom of the fourth. She's going to swing at that one, but it's going to pop out to Morrow for the first out of the inning. Now at the bat is going to be Jessica Gang. working with one out here in the bottom of the fourth. She's going to check swing there, but it's not going to get called. Ball one here for Gang up to bat. That one's going to be just short and in the dirt for ball two. 2-0 the count now, one out here. Muskies lead the Cougars 2-0 now in this contest. As Gang's going to take ball three. Patience right there from the junior, now DP, but was catcher in game one. She's going to straight take strike one there in that count. Johnson. Working now in her fourth inning of action in the circle. She's going to foul that one back. And now we're working with a 3-2 count. Got 3-2-1 on the scoreboard now for Gang. She's going to take ball four and head on down to her next destination. And that's gonna bring up number nine, Gina Westfall. Now to bat number nine, Gina Westfall. Westfall, one of our seniors being honored after today's doubleheader. Cougar fans stay on the broadcast with us after today's game, because we will be live streaming the senior day celebration here on this broadcast. So make sure to stick around after today's game to check out all of the festivities. She takes ball two low, 2-0 two count for Westfall. Gang on second, only one out here in the bottom of the fourth. High and upstairs. So now a 3-0 count for Westfall. Looking to be smart here in this at bat. And that's going to be strike one from Johnson. Some great movement on that pitch. So 3-1 count now. Hitters count still for Westfall with Gang only on first, looking to put her in scoring position. She takes strike two, so now we're at a full count. Three, two, one again up on the scoreboard, so working with a full count is Westfall. going to swing at that. It's going to go out and foul. And it looks like Staudinger is going to try and get it. Just not quite. So Westfall getting another chance here at the plate. Another 3-2 count coming your way for pitch number seven of this at bat. Now it's going to be ball four. Two back-to-back -back walks here for the Cougars. And that's going to bring up Megan Busca to the plate. Looks like head coach of the Muskies, Tammy Utley, is going to come out to chat to her team. After Johnson, this, is, this has now been her fourth inning of action so far. She did also play in game one, so... 
a lot of work so far today. And again, another thing to think about is how cold it has been all day today. From the time we started at noon until now at 2 o'clock, moving into now 4 o'clock this afternoon, it has just gotten colder and windier here in River Forest. So definitely something that can be a, a problem not only for the hitters and the deep or the pitchers and the defense, excuse me, but also for the hitters. And now they will reconvene now. Busca now ready to go here. Gang on second, Westfall on first. With one out in the bottom of the fourth, Megan Busca up to bat. She takes strike one. Busca pitched in game one and is now playing first base for the Cougars. Looking to do some damage just like the Muskies did in the top of the fourth. She's gonna swing at that one into left field. It's tracked down by Harlow. So that's going to be out number two of the inning. Now to bat number 25, Alyssa Kentopoulos. Alyssa Kentopoulos now up to bat for the Cougars. Two outs, runners on first and second. She swings at the first pitch, CC's, and it's popped up to first and that's going to be the end of the inning so Cougars threatened but are taken down in that inning by the Muskies so we will see what comes next for them here as we will be right back on the Cougar Sports Network. Back here on the Cougar Sports Network, top of the fifth. Muskies still on top of the Cougars here. Maddie Johnson at the plate for the Muskies. Kearney delivers that one just outside for ball one. That one a little inside. Johnson connects with that one, sends it out into right. Contopolis tracking it, can't quite get it. Rolls all the way to the fence. Johnson rounding, heading to third. 
and it's down safely at third, a fantastically placed hit just over the head of Kantopoulos. And the Muskies quickly have a runner in scoring position. Juliana Hall at the plate now. Two hits already in this game. Looking to keep that streak alive here. A base hit scores another one as Tierney delivers that one right down the middle. That's going to be a fly straight out to Goldsby. Goldsby with the rocket home, not in time. Johnson able to safely get in and tack another run up on the board. So the Muskies up 3-0 now here in the top of the fifth. As that one is connected and sent foul, Kantopoulos with a diving effort to get there. Can't quite catch that one. Heitman still chasing her first hit in this game. One strike out already. Tierney looking to add to that here. As that one's in there for strike two. That one's connected and sent over to Garcia, who's able to get the out. And quickly, the Cougars have two outs here. You take away that triple to lead off this inning, and this is a, an entirely different inning here as the Cougars have been pretty dominant in the field since, but assistant coach Izzy Ortiz is going to take a second to bring everybody in and chit-chat here. Maddie Rasky at the plate for the Muskies. as Tierney looks to close out this inning, minimizing the damage. As that one well outside for ball one. Nice chilly day here in River Forest. The sun has unfortunately hidden itself behind some clouds. So with the breeze coming in, it's just given this chill factor a whole new level. As Tierney delivers that one outside as well. And a 3-0 count now here for Rasky. And the four ball walk will put one runner on base here. So Peyton Harlow at the plate now for the Muskies. Harlow also chasing her first hit in this game. Takes a big hack through that one. Swing and a miss, strike one. That one catches the outside of the plate for strike two. Harlow one strikeout already in this game. Now facing an 0-2 count, two outs. Tierney just trying to close this inning for the Cougars. As she gets set and delivers this one outside for ball one.
That one is hit high into right field foul territory. Contopolis can't quite get there. Gets her glove on it, but can't hold on due to the awkward angle. Alyssa Contopolis getting put to work this inning out in right field. But the hustle still there for the senior. One of the seniors being honored today in the uh, post-game senior celebration. Contopolis alongside Gina Westfall, Bella Archuleta, and Nikita Robbins, the four seniors that are being honored today. You can see some numbers painted throughout the field in honor of them as that one bounces off of Harlow, sends a nice hard ball right towards the hip. So the Muskies now two on base. with Jordan August at the plate now for the Muskies. But before we get to that, Coach O'Malley Fisher coming out, we're gonna see a pitching change here. Tierney unable to get herself out of this inning. So we're gonna see a new pitcher inside the circle for the Cougars, number 16, Eden Pufal. So while she gets set, we're gonna take a quick break here on the Cougar Sports Network, but we will be right back. On the Cougars Sports Network, still in the top of the fifth. Muskies leading the Cougars 3-0. A new pitcher for the Cougars as Pufal delivers that one high for ball one. A jam-packed day of action for Concordia Athletics. This softball doubleheader here, just one of four home events happening on campus today as Ajik looks to catch some runners lacking there, but all muskies back safely. So softball doubleheader happening here just behind a softball center field fence. Baseball is happening as that one is connected into shallow center field. Goals be able to collect it. Keep runners from advancing extra bases. But quickly, the Muskies have a bases loaded situation. Two outs now. Looking to keep themselves alive in this inning. Muskies starting to find their groove here in the last couple innings. Bats really coming to life. That one is in there for strike one. Mackenzie Stoddinger at the plate now for the Muskies. That one inside for ball one. That one connects right off the barrel of the bat. Garcia able to glove it and get the Cougars out of this inning, holding those bases loaded. Only one run let up. So Pufal able to get the Cougars out of this inning as we head to the bottom of the fifth. CUC needing to do some work at the plate and get things going here. We'll be right back on the Cougar Sports Network.
back here on the Cougar Sports Network. Cougars really needing to get things going here. Haley Goldsby at the plate for the Cougars to try to jumpstart things here. That one is in there for strike one, a 1-1 one, one count now. Takes a hack at that, sends it backwards. So a one-two count now. As she swings through that one for strike three, as we head things back up to the top of the order here for the Cougars. Arissa Santos trying to take her her hack at getting things going here. As she connects with that one and drops it into shallow center field. So exactly what you're needing right now, one base hit at a time, hand it off to the next hitter. And when the next hitter is Emily Garcia, it's a pretty good person to hand things off to. So one runner on for the Cougars. Garcia looking to follow suit to Santos. Drop a ball out somewhere in the outfield, a base hit just to move some runners around. As she takes a hack at that one, that sends it deep into left field. It's a home run for Emily Garcia. That's exactly what you're wanting in that situation. Santos does her job and gets on base and then Garcia able to connect and drive that one over into left field corner and quickly the Cougars are back into this game. It is a 3-2 game. And the Cougars are hyped up, especially when you've got Melissa Hajik at the plate now for the Cougars. This is really the strongest part of their lineup, these first three hitters here. As you saw with Santos and Garcia getting things going right away, Hajik's looking to continue on with that and hand things off again. She connects with that, but sends it foul. That one is in there for strike two. As she connects with that, sends it over, and the throw is going to be in time for out number two. So Bella Archuleta at the plate now for the Cougars. A momentum shifting start to this inning puts the Cougars right back in it. She takes strike one right down the middle. Archuleta still chasing her first hit in this game here. Takes a crack at that one, pops it up high. And the Muskies are going to get themselves out of it, but not before the Cougars do some serious damage and make this a 3-2 to two game. As we head to the top of the six here in River Forest, don't go anywhere. We've got ourselves a ball game here on the Cougar Sports Network.
Morrow at the play for the Muskies. Muskies have been uh, pretty dominant at the play in the last two innings. But the Cougars starting their climb back. Morrow takes a swing at the first pitch she sees. But oh my goodness, Haley Goldsby, what a diving catch. Talk about athleticism right there. Not about to let the Muskies get back into this and jump too far ahead here. Goldsby with a very athletic play to secure the first out. Hannah Nelson at the plate for the Muskies. As that one misses for ball one. As Pufal delivers that one in the dirt for ball two. Wind starting to pick back up here. Pulling towards the left field line. As Nelson takes strike one. Pufal still working the count here, a 2-2 count now. Eden Pufal pitching earlier in today's game one against the Muskies going three innings. Unfortunately giving up four runs on six hits and taking the loss for that as that ball's popped up to center field and Goldsby able to collect it. Quickly two outs here, no damage done just yet. As Juliana Hall, excuse me, Maddie Johnson at the plate. That one is in there for strike one. Johnson had a huge triple in the last inning. <coughs> Was a huge key in them tacking on that run in the fifth inning, looking to keep that going as she grounds that one over to Garcia. Garcia gets the out over at first, and the Cougars close the inning with the Muskies. A big old zero up there on the scoreboard for the inning. Cougars looking to come into their offensive end, capitalizing on their hot streak as we head to the bottom of the six here in River Forest on the Cougar Sports Network. Here in the bottom of the six in River Forest, Cougars looking to make the comeback. Jess Gang at the plate, looking to get things going here as she takes ball one. Maddie Johnson still inside the circle for the Muskies. As Gang connects with that one, sends it just over the Cougars dugout.
So a 1-1 one, one count now. As Johnson delivers this one inside for ball two. She connects with that one, sends it towards the Muskies dugout now. Overall successful day here in River Forest. A lot of senior celebrations happened across the board. Cougar men's lacrosse falling in their senior day game against Marion University, a tight seven to four contest. CUC Baseball finishing out their day, pulling off a sweep over WLC, finishing just moments ago. As Gang connects and pops that one up, Johnson is able to grab that. So one out now. Gino Westfall now at the plate for the Cougars. One of those seniors, as I mentioned earlier, being celebrated today following the conclusion of this game. Takes a hack at the first pitch she sees and it's deep into center, but Rasky able to collect it. So two outs now here. Busca. Megan Busca at the plate trying to keep this inning alive. As that one is high for ball one. That one right down the barrel for strike one. As I mentioned, a full day of home events. Can't forget to talk about the hard fought battle for our men's tennis team. Falling five to four over against the Edgewood Eagles, a hard fought battle. As it appears that this softball game is the last event happening on campus still, as Busca swings through that one for strike two. So twos across the board as Busca looks to keep this alive. Looks at ball three, a great leave there. She connects with that, sends it right up the middle for an easy single here. A line drive that goes right past everybody and hands things off to Alyssa Kantopoulos. Topless swings through that one for strike one. On the season, Kentopolis hitting a 182, eight hits on the year, three of which were doubles. As she swings through that one for strike two. Johnson looking to get the Muskies out of this. And she does a fantastic performance there as she holds the Cougars. As we head to the uh, top of the seventh, the Muskies still on top, three to two. Poofall still working inside the circle for the Cougars. Don't go anywhere here on the Cougar Sports Network.
at the plate. Now for the Muskies, Juliana Hall. Muskies still leading the Cougars here in the top of the seventh, three to two, as she connects with that one and sends it foul. Some solid contact there, though. That one misses for ball one. Overall today, the Muskies 8 for 22. Really saw those bats come to life in the fourth and fifth inning where they put up their three runs. Looking to tack at least one or two insurance runs on here as the Cougars look to hold them. As Hall connects with that one, Santos able to scoop it and get the out at first. So one away here in the top of the seventh. As Heitman now at the plate. That one in there for strike one. Heitman, one strikeout already in game two here. Pufal still chasing her first strikeout in this game. As that one misses high. As I mentioned earlier, Pufal started in game one for the Cougars, making another appearance on the day here. Something that the Cougars are not shying away from this season, taking advantage of their arms. Ashley Schroll starting this game off for the Cougars, went four innings, turning things over to Callie Tierney, who pitched just a few innings ago before Poofall made her reappearance on the day. The 2-2 two -two count looks at a 3-2 count now for Heitman. That one misses for ball four. And Coach Sarah O'Malley Fisher is going to go out and chit chat with her infield here. Really a critical time here to not give up free bases, trying to hold the Muskies where they are. A one run deficit, very attainable for this Cougar squad to overcome in their half of the inning, but. Giving up free bases, not what you want to see. Coach O'Malley Fisher keeps it short and quick. Just some reassurance here. See some smiles and laughs from the infield as they break away. Rasky at the plate for the Muskies. We're going to see the runner go, the throw down just off target from Hajik. So Heitman is going to be safe at second. Not surprising to see the Muskies being a little bit aggressive here. 
their last opportunity to tack on a couple more runs here and really try to pull away with this. As Rasky swings and fouls that one. So the 0-2 count now. As she connects with that one, sends it over into right field. Kantopoulos able to get it, but the tag up is going to be good. So Heitman's going to make her way to third. Two outs now. Carlo at the plate for the Muskies, looking to keep this inning alive. Runner on third, a base hit scores the runner here. Cougars looking to hold strong, keep the Muskies where they are and control their own destiny as they head to the bottom of the seventh. But Pufal sends that one and that's gonna drop in right field. So the Muskies are going to tack on another run here. Heitman takes a little jog home. Gives a nice little point down to her teammate for the base hit that scored another. August at the plate for the Muskies. Two outs here. Arlo thought about going on that pitch, but held back a little bit. Again, some, something that I would not be surprised to see. The Muskies really trying to be aggressive here, already tacking on one run so far, and that would not have been possible without a stolen base to jump things off as she does go. Hajik with the throw, and just misses. Can hear some Cougar, Cougar fans getting excited, thought that she got the throw there. So a runner now on a second, two outs, a 1-1 one, one count. As that one is fouled off over the Cougar dugout. Looking to see if it was gonna bounce off a car, but already had two so far today, but that one Unfortunately, hits the concrete and rolls a little bit, or fortunately for whoever's car is parked on Division Street. A little bit of a, a dangerous zone there. Somehow people still park there, despite the numerous car hits. If your insurance is good enough to cover some damage, I guess it doesn't really matter. As August connects with that one, sends it high into the sky, but Goldsby able to collect it. So the Muskies tack on one more run, a 4-2 lead for them as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Cougars in control of their own destiny here, needing to tack on a two. As Johnson stays inside the circle for the Muskies, but we're potentially gonna see some new hitters for the Cougars. We'll get you all of that and this bottom of the seventh action when we get back on the Cougar Sports Network.
back here on the Cougar Sports Network. Julia Pataluna at the plate for the Cougars. Trailing by two. Needing to get some action going here. That one misses for ball one. Cougars looking for their strongest portion of the lineup due up to start this inning. A really, really good start for them. That one inside for ball two. As I mentioned earlier, following the conclusion of this game, we, we will be having the Senior Day celebration for these four Cougar softball seniors. All of that will be broadcasted here on the Cougar Sports Network as well. So following the conclusion of the game, be sure to stick around for some Senior Day action. Throughout the day today, during the game, we've had some trivia answers from the four seniors themselves. As Pataluna takes a four ball walk and puts up Orissa Santos to the plate. So we're gonna see Goldsby re-enter the game and run for Pataluna. Quick base runner is exactly what you need in this situation. Santos at the plate in her last at bat was able to drop a single, get herself on base before that monster, Emily Garcia, home run, made it a one run game. So one runner on, and arguably your two best hitters do up. I guess I shouldn't say arguably when the numbers do indicate the two best hitters of this squad. Santos hitting a 425 on the season. As the Muskies are going to note that and intentionally walk her here. It'll be an interesting situation to see as, like I said, you've got Emily Garcia on deck who hit that home run in the fifth inning, who's the second best hitter on this Cougar squad, hitting a 391. So the Muskies not going to take their chances with Santos. The intentional walk here puts runners on first and second with Garcia at the plate. But before we get to that, head coach of this Muskie squad, Tammy Utley, is going to come out and talk to her, excuse me, Muskie squad. Cougars all coming in. So the winning run is at the plate here. Garcia already with one home run on the day. Hajik to follow behind her. So a really, really, really good spot for the Cougars to be in. Not trying to overdo things, but one hit at a time, hand things off to the next player. Because with two on, you're already in a really good spot. Johnson sends that one in. Garcia looks to bunt, but bounces foul. So the 0-1 count here. Shows bunt again, but that ball is going to be low. Almost get away for a second there, but rolls right in between Garcia's legs. As she does show bump, pops it up, and it's going to go foul. Bunting here is a great idea, but Garcia needing to keep that bunt on the ground, trying to avoid that pop up there.
So the one two count now, runners on first and second. As she swings through that one, but it's going to chop foul as well. As she connects with that one and sends it high into left field. But Harlow able to track it back. Not enough juice. And a quick throw in from Harlow is going to hold runners where they're at. The initial contact off the bat sounded pretty promising. But with the wind picking up a little bit, I think it fought against her just a touch. So one out now, Melissa Hajik at the plate for the Cougars. As she swings through that one for strike one. As Hajik tries to lay down a bunt but sends it foul. So the 0-2 count now. Hajik swings at that one and it's going foul towards Division Street. And all cars remain unharmed. As that one is in there for strike three. Hajik caught looking, and that's going to bring up Bella Archuleta. The final out here. Two runners on base. The tying run over on first, the game winning run at home, just needing to get a hit at a time. As Archuleta takes strike one. Johnson sends this one in high and away for ball one. As she connects with that one but sends it high into the sky and the Muskies Able to get out of the inning and take the 4-2 to two win. Cougars had a lot of momentum and promises there in the bottom of the seventh, but ultimately the Muskies able to ward them off. So the Cougars falling in game two to the Muskies. Overall in game two, Cougars four, excuse me, five hits, two runs. Muskies nine hits and four runs. As Cougars are going to still look to honor their seniors here. So be sure to stick around here on the Cougar Sports Network as we get ready for that. So following the conclusion of this game, the Cougars dropping to four and 10 in conference. The Muskies jumping ahead to 14 and two in conference. So as we get ready to get set for this senior day celebration, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the Cougar Sports Network thus far.
Don't go anywhere as we get set for the Senior Day celebration here on the Cougar Sports Network. <laughs> 